old house there. Probably worth about half a million in today's market. Scenic location, beautiful block work, exquisite. Here comes my lift. So we're on our mountain in South Sligo and we're gathering in the sheep because they're very close to lambing and we have to bring away the twins out of it, plus any sheep that might be thin and need a bit of grass. The twins can't really lamb on the mountain. They need more energy than that, so they have to be brought down onto some grass. It's not a great day at the moment. It's quite windy and it was pissing rain in the morning, but it has fared now, so hopefully we can get a good bit of work done before it rains again. Sheep there looking a bit weak of herself. I'll probably leave her, it doesn't look like she wants to come in with the bunch. All right, Casey, here, 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 here. Walk on, walk on. Yeah. Shh. Casey, come here, come here. Come here, come on, come on. Casey, come on, walk on, walk on. Lay down. Lay down. That's the start, Casey. We'll go over to this yo. Scratch that plan, that yo's gonna have to wait. Dad is shouting here, he's coming in with the first bunch off the mountain. What's that? Old house there. Probably worth about half a million in today's market. Scenic location, beautiful block work, exquisite. Girl there looks like she's getting a wee bit shook. Twin hey Casey, Casey, let her go, let her go, let her go. Carrying two lambs. No, don't go in there. You give her her time now. If you get too close to her, she'll just duck in for the fence and give up, probably. Casey, Casey, come, come. Lie down, lie down, lie down, lie down. Come on, girls. Come on. Hey, 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 that easy, easy, easy. I don't want them too packed. Don't want to put them under any pressure because sheep are heavy and lamb. Right, lie there, Casey, lie down. Good girl, well done. Well done. They will be in pretty good shape are the odd one. Yeah, there is a nice few twins to come out of this, so um, taking them out of it and bringing them to grass gives them a bit more grass. Better nutrition, considering that they're going to be having two lambs and rearing two lambs. Dad just rang there and he said to come over to him. He's got a yo over there, with, potentially with a broken leg. Casey, here. Up, up, up. What you want to do? Don't touch your horn. Try and make it. We have the sheep. Broken front leg, I think, and full of a pair of lambs, too, so. Broken leg, I think. Must have fell off a ledge or something, but at least she's down at the pin now, so. I'm gonna head over and get this sheep now, the one that I left when I was bringing in the first bunch. Question is, where is she now? It's an old house that, don't ask me who lived in it, I don't know, but the man that owned this land, Dominic Brownlee, that passed away, he passed away a few years ago, but just has some fond memories of when I was a young fella. Before we started renting it, obviously Dominic used to farm it, and Dad helped him for years, decades, it could have been 15 or 20 years, longer actually, because he helped him. I remember him saying he was, used to go farming with him when he was a young fella, but um, I remember coming over here to this house because there was electricity in it, 
So you used to come over here, we'd be working at cheap, you used to go over there to boil the kettle and have a cup of tea. And I remember having tea there a couple of times in that house with Dominic. Fond memories. She's not in the bathtub either. I am searching around here and I cannot find this sheep. So the battery went dead in the GoPro, but I'm out the mountain. We're gone out for the main bunch now. I don't know if you'll be able to see. I'm gonna head, I have a bunch ahead of me here. Dad is over there. Giving them their time. Twins coming in there with blue shots. There's quite a few twins here. There was a good, good scan up here this year. Nearly too good. <laughs> if you've, every twin has to come out of it, so. The weather's been hard this month. Like it's just been cold and wet and miserable, so it, there isn't great growth either. But we'll manage it. We always do. Here comes my lift. I thought I was getting a lift, but obviously not. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all. How could I know there was no second chance? Like Dominic. Better put away the camera now and look at the road. So we're back at home. Well, I'm back at home by myself. I'm gonna let these girls off. Just be looking forward to get off the trailer. Oh. oh. Parked in too tight to the ditch, Carl. No. <laughs> this field has been stripped for a bit, but like it's it's fresh. It's freshened up a little bit, but not a whole pile because it's just been such horrible weather and it's been cold and hard and miserable for the last month or so. So there hasn't been a whole pile of growth. So there's enough to do them anyway to get them lambed. And the key thing is. Like you're getting them away and getting them a fresh bite and a bit of grass and then you're getting a good load of sheep off the mountain as well so there's just less competition. It's a lame sheep we did today. Oh. oh, what are you waiting for there? There's one down. Oh crap. Deep down there, but lucky she's alright. Oh. Got a fright there, I see the sheep down, but she's alright, luckily. Sometimes you can, the odd time, if you know, luckily they weren't overpacked, but and you wouldn't want to overpack them because they're heavy and lamb, but there's a danger if you overpack a trailer that you can, sheep can go down and they can get smothered, you can lose them. Especially if it's a weaker one or a lame one. Out the field, happy out. Just gotta lamb them now. Gonna be a good crack for the month. Thanks for watching, see you for the next one.